Hi, hello, welcome. This is Dr. Andy, and you are watching Medical Globe. Dear students, today's topic is how to calculate the isoelectric pH. So before we uh, start how to calculate the isoelectric pH, I will we will discuss some more terms that is pH and pKa. On the whiteboard, you can see there is there is a diagram of an amino acid, and this amino acid has no charge in this condition, no positive or negative. It is a free amino acid. When that amino acid get both positive as well as negative charge, means that this is carbon, C O O minus and N H two. There is a hydrogen and there is R. We have already discussed in one of my video lecture that how an amino acid get positive charge, negative charge, and both charges. Another topic name as the physical properties of amino acid. So once an amino acid get both negative as well as a positive charge N H3 plus charge and COO minus this uh, this uh, this uh, this uh, structure of amino acid this condition of amino acid is called as Zwitter ion Zwitter ion and this condition of amino acid can only be possible at some specific pH at some specific pH that specific pH is called as the isoelectric pH isoelectric pH for example leucine leucine is an amino acid its isoelectric pH pi is equal to 6.0 means if you change the pH above the 6 point above 6.0 or below 6.0 the leucine amino acid will either become a positively charged or negative charge if you uh, if you increase the pH of the uh, leucine mean you go to basic medium the amino acid will act as a acid and it will release a proton and it will acquire a positive a negative charge and if you decrease the pH then the leucine will get a positive charge only and if you bring the pH at exactly 6.0 then the amino acid will require both positive as well as negative charge so this is a really a very special kind of uh, pH that we call it isoelectric pH and remember at this pH the amino acid is said to be neutral. Why? Because the negative charge will cancel the effect of positive charge. So overall molecule is neutral. Now the thing is how to calculate that that isoelectric pH. So if you want to calculate, there is a formula. There is a formula that pH isoelectric pH is equal to check in the in the given amino acid how many ionizable groups are there means if if we see here in that amino acid one ionizable group is the carboxylic and other one is the amino there are some amino acid which contain two carboxylic groups and one amino group uh, so in this case what we will call it we will say there are three ionizable groups so different amino acid have two to three uh, ionizable groups you need to take the pka pka what is pk what is ph let me tell you something about ph A ph refers to the negative log of hydrogen ion concentration hydrogen ion concentration look this is the hydrogen ion concentration if we use a mathematical term negative log you don't need to go into that mathematics what's the negative log everyone is very well familiar with this term 
so if we put a negative log a mathematical term with the hydrogen ion then this hydrogen become the H become pH means H was already present and P comes because you put negative log means if you put negative log with something you will get P similarly there is another term called as Ka what is Ka? Ka stands for ionization constant ionization constant every ionizable species whether negatively charged or positively charged once they become ionized they acquire a constant value that value is called as ionization constant and every ionizable species has this value called ionization constant and the values are already given to us you don't need to find that value the value are already given to us so you will have to find now 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 how to make this k as p k a so what will happen if you want to make k a uh, if you want to make p k a from k a you need to write negative log of k a if you put negative log of k a it will become p k a right it will become p k a so finally we got what is p k a so if you want to, to determine the isolytic pH of the amino acid you have to check how many ionizable, ionizable groups are there let's suppose we have that amino acid and that amino acid we have two ionizable groups two ionizable groups mean that this group must have its own pKa must have its own pKa and I told you already that any ionizable species has its Ka. If, if it has its Ka, just put a negative log and it will become pKa. If this group has its Ka, just put a negative log and it will, be, it will become pKa. Now, take the average of these two pKa's and whatever you got, that will be the value of the isolytic pH. Now, let's suppose, if you want to determine the isolytic pH what you will do you will take the average let's suppose here you have pKa1 and pKa2 so there are two and there are two so you will divide these with two and whatever answer comes that will be your isolytic pH let me take the example of uh, the example of leucine the leucine's pH is 2.4 and 9.6 2.4 and 9.6.2 that is the isolytic pH for the leucine in leucine there are two anisable groups the, the pKa of the first anisable group is value of 2.4 and the pKa of another ionizable group is 9.6 in the structure of leucine. So you will divide them by 2 because there are two factors, there are two ionizable groups, so you will divide by 2. If you find three ionizable groups, you will divide them by 3 and 4 by 4 because average is should, average should be taken like this 2.4 plus 9.6. What will become? It will become um, if you add them 2.4, 9.6, that become 12, almost 12, right? And divide that 12 with 2, you got 6. So isoelectric pH for you seen is 6. Finally, we got the value of isoelectric pH, we got the concept of isoelectric pH, everything. I hope you enjoyed uh, watching my video lecture and also thanks for watching the video please like give us a like if you got the lecture also subscribe so that any video that we record must come to you first and you will be notified with this also share this video with your friends and fellows uh, remember us in your prayers thank you bye bye Ta -ta.